Hello and welcome to my latest What Sold video. This is for the time period of April 2nd, 2020 through April 8th, which I believe is seven days. <laughs> trying to check that, make sure I've got the right dates. Well, anyway, it's for April 2nd through April 8th, 2020. Hello, my name is Trisha. Um, I am now a, I guess, kind of full-time um, seller. I uh, was laid off from my job, um, but actually it was a little before uh, this whole thing was going on. So I have been kind of full-time um, reselling as kind of a supplement to the business portion. Um, I am uh, operating under the name Sandy and Auto for my stores. And I'm going to go through my uh, 20 sales that I had last week, which is, well, I guess I'm trying to go, what, Thursday to Wednesday, I guess is kind of what I'm calculating. And um, my sales were actually up 20% over the previous two weeks, which were about the same. And so this week is a 20% increase. So I'll go through the items and any particulars and things of interest um, about those items. I do have um, kind of an annualized um, cost of goods, which is $2.25 that I kind of apply to everything in there when I'm figuring out my um, costs and profits and all of that stuff. Um, first up though, um, I do have an Etsy sale. I have some of my items cross-listed on Etsy. Um, mostly um, the Holly Hobby items, which I will be featuring next week because I did have a big bundle sale of Holly Hobby items. Uh, not on Etsy, on eBay, but um, I do have most of them cross-reference. And also items that I do sell on eBay and Poshmark. Um, I have some cross-listed on Etsy. If I know more specific about what um, date they were produced um, so I can make sure that they fall within the Etsy vintage guidelines. Uh, but this was a nice little shadow box uh, framed of nautical knots. <clears throat> um, really nice display um, for people who are into that kind of thing. This did sell, let me double check my notes, this sold for $20. And I did pick this up at the Goodwill. And um, again, everything I kind of have annualized. So my cost of goods on everything is $2.25 because some things cost a little more. Some things I pick up at yard sales. Some things I pick up at um, Goodwill. And some things, um, especially, um, you know, now is a good time, too, to try to get neighbors and family um, who are going to be donating to give you things, hopefully at, at a lower cost or at no cost, um, just to make it a little easier on everyone. And so that was my one Etsy sale. Um, on to eBay. I sold this nice pair of, of ceramic candlesticks. Um, Oh, one thing I was going to mention on this one, um, I did end up um, accepting a best offer of $10 for the pair. And I don't know what happened in the shipping, but somehow a chip kind of came out of one, which I, I'm not sure how that happened because everything was kind of bubble wrapped to death. Um, in that, but I did end up issuing a partial refund, um, which I did reflect and take out in my um, numbers, which I'll give you at the end of the video. But yeah, somehow I didn't have to. She didn't ask for um, a partial refund. She just wanted to let me know that somehow um, there was a chip out of uh, one of the, the candlesticks. And so I just felt um, that, you know, for good business and everything that it, it would be um, kind of the best thing to do is to give a partial refund on that. Uh, next thing I sold on eBay were these two um, little prints. They were from Woodward's and 
Uh, they were most likely some kind of a Canadian um, kind of indigenous people. Um, here's the little Woodward's sticker on there. Um, little prints. Uh, you can see that they're basically eight by six. Um, so they were small. I did end up taking um, these, I believe, were on a... Well, maybe they weren't on a sale, um, but I took a best offer of eighteen fifty on those. And oh, one thing I did want to mention: um, I do have a um, two percent promo on all of my items on eBay. And I did forget to mention that the candlesticks were sold during uh, on a. On a promo and also this um, life is good top was also sold through a promoted listing that's what I'm trying to say through a promoted listing um, so those come up you know at various times sponsored um, listings come up at various times through people's searches and if they click on it um, then it does um, you pay an additional 2% in my case because I have a marked at 2%. And that has to do with the frequency and everything that it, it comes up on the listing. Uh, so this one, I did take a best offer of $20 uh, for this Life is Good um, top. Nice long sleeve, size extra large on that one. Uh, next up is this really cute little vintage um, sugar bowl, and if I can find it on my sheet, there it is. Um, it did sell for $9.99 um, fairly quickly. I believe this was probably up 24 hours or less um, before it sold. Um, just picked this up at the Goodwill and took a picture. Did mention that in the lining there were a couple of teeny tiny little what I would consider like flea bite chips on there but I did want to mention um, that so that the buyer knew that um, again trying to point out um, any kind of condition issues on those this item was really hard for me to let go of I loved this sweatshirt so much um, Carl Lagerfeld and his cat um, it did have um, a little condition issue um, right here that the headlights, one of the, or the little um, red jewels that's supposed to be there. Somebody could obviously um, fix that really quick, but I just, this was so cute. I just loved it. But I did end up taking a best offer of $22 on it. Had a lot of interest in this. Lots of likes, lots of... Um, of watches but not people were actually kind of taking a bite and wanting to buy it um, so um, when somebody did offer I figured that was a, the home it, that it should go to and I did let that go uh, next up is another print this one was kind of large uh, this was 15 by 13 and um, it's a nice Bourbon Street um, print. It did have a couple condition issues that I did point out up here in the matting. Um, somebody could probably take that apart quite easily, clean the glass and uh, the matting or get new matting for that. And this one um, I did end up selling. It was on a 22% off sale, but I did take a best offer of $13.99 on this one and next up is this really pretty floral um, jacket I couldn't really find a brand on it but it was just too pretty um, not you know to end up in a landfill it was really well made um, the design was nice the way that it fit was really nice. And on this one, um, even with the 22% off, I did end up taking a best offer of $9.50 on this one. Um, this one was a really quick sale. I listed it um, at night, and by morning it had sold for $15.99. 
Um, so that was really nice. This is a Noritake. Here's the little um, stamp on the back of it, hand-painted Japan. Um, really nice design on it. And I did pick that up. I'm pretty sure I picked that one up at the Goodwill. Next up, um, I have these and I have a few others of these lenticular portraits that you see at Halloween where it has the um, regular face and then the scary face on the people. And um, me and a couple gals I work with had decorated with these and we just don't need them anymore. And I decided why wait for Halloween when you're trying to find something like this at an odd time of year and you can't find them. Um, so I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and list them now um, I do have a couple, I think two, four sets, two, three sets, and one or two, two sets. Um, so this is the first one of those that have sold. And I did end up taking a best offer on these for $14.99. And they um, did sell through a promoted listing. And next up, um, loved these glasses. I remember these from when I was a kid. I can't remember who had them, but I definitely remember seeing these. And so this was a nice set of three. Um, I think these are the only three colors that this came in. And I did point out that the pink one had a couple scratches on it. I don't think that had the view um, on them, but here I pointed out that one had a weird um, mark on it and then this one had a, a couple of scratches and this ended up selling through the global shipping um, and it went to Canada and it sold for $26.99 and this also sold through a promoted listing and then I sold this uh, Bowdoin uh, button-up shirt milkshake I believe is the color the pinkish color of that um, that, that they reference as um, milkshake size 14 um, again had a lot of interest in this top I think because it was Bowden um, just didn't have really any takers on it and so I received a $15 offer on this one and I did end up taking that and last eBay item that I sold is this Addicted uh, Black Vinyl kind of crossbody bag that had that really glittery, really, really glittery <laughs> um, red star. Uh, really fun. And I took an offer of $16 on this one. So those were my eBay sales, and I did not have any thread up sales to um, put this time because um, they have extended their time, I believe, by two additional weeks. So sales that go to um, customers on their website um, basically now get an extra two weeks to return items. So most of my items, I think I have about 20 sales on thread up, but those are all, um, I won't get paid on any of those until May. And so I don't post anything with thread up because they can be returned. Um, so I don't post anything until I've actually been paid. And I only have, I think, one item that recently sold in a goodie box. So that will probably be on the next weeks. Um, so no thread up this week. Um, but I did have some Poshmark sales. So I'm going to go through those. And um, up first was this nice canvas um, kind of tree of life ish design. Um, and that sold, that was a best offer of $15 that I accepted on that one. Um, the next items are a bundle that I accepted. And these were um, kind of fab fit fun items that I wasn't going to use, couldn't find anybody who wanted to use them. And so kind of as a last resort, I did list those for sale. 
Um, so we have the Ico London Eyeliner, three of the Wish uh, masks, restoring masks, the Tarte Pro Glow Highlighter and Contour Palette, and these um, resistance bands. And so those four items um, together I sold for $40. Um, so that was a bundle for those, well, I guess for listings. Um, so yeah, so they're off to a good home altogether, $40 on those. And then I sold this um, Disney uh, Tinkerbell scrub top. Um, this was a little bit different. There's uh, one Tinkerbell scrub top out there that a lot of people have. This one had just a little bit of difference to it. And it also had, I think, three pockets where the other one didn't have three pockets. Um, so I thought, well, that was a little more desirable um, than just your standard um, scrub. But I mean, Tinkerbell is always popular. And so this one did sell for $16. And next up is a picture that I sold on Poshmark. Um, I do cross list a lot of items. So a lot of the vintage um, items that I sold on eBay, I do cross post on Poshmark um, because there's a lot of interest in people do buy these items. And so this was a real, this was a very small print. This was five by five where the picture inside was three by three. So this was quite small, um, but the back had this nice, interesting tag on it. And so I just kind of took a guess that this was some kind of a Russian village, um, Really cute print, uh, considering how small it is. It's very detailed. And uh, so this did sell for a best offer of $10 on this one. And the last item that I have are these really cute vintage pair of, they're like some kind of molded foam, um, definitely from the 70s. And they are wall hangings. And I did mention um, that this guy had a little chip out of here. So I did mention that in the description. And I also took a picture so people could see that it was this very interesting foam um, on there. Um, but those were my uh, 20 sales that I had this week. Um, total was. Um, Total sales, including um, taking out for the refund that I did give, $294.95. My fees were $84.94. Cost of goods was about $54. And so my total profit was just shy of $200 at $199.92. But might as well round that up to <laughs> $200. So not bad considering everything that's going on in the world. Um, but it's always good to get an idea of what items people are shopping for right now. Um, so a little bit of clothes, a um, little bit of home goods, a little bit of antiques, a little bit of um, things that people can use um, while they're at home. Um, so yeah, um, so it was a very interesting um, week of sales. Um, so uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any comments um, or questions, please feel free to leave those behind. Um, appreciate a like um, if you enjoyed this on your way out. And um, if you're interested in subscribing to this type of content and other types of um, things that I have come up with. Um, you can definitely review other uh, playlists that I have on, on here, and hopefully you'll subscribe and come back. And again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.